Hi, I want to introduce you to one of my new favorite authors. Her name is Elise Gravel, and she writes both in English and French, and she is a Canadian author and illustrator. Here we have some of the new books for our library from the Disgusting Critters series. Um, we have the worm, the rat, the slug, the spider, head lice, the bat, the cockroach, and the fly. We also have some of these titles in French as well, and I know they've been very popular. You can see that it's a nonfiction book, but it's a really fun read. Today, I'm going to show you another book by Elise Gravel called If Found, Please Return to Elise Gravel. Now, in this book, she shares some of her sketches and her doodles and how she creates some of her characters. So today, I'm going to read you the Fliberty Whippets from the Northern Seas, and then we'll do a little bit of a drawing activity. The Fliberty Whippets are part of the Will-O-Wisp aquatic family. They swim in cold water seas and live off plankton and foam bubbles. If you are very, very lucky, you can see them in the early mornings when the Aurora Borealis appears. They love the Aurora Borealis and will sometimes jump out of the water to see them. The Fliberty Whippets are amphibious creatures. They can live in water or on the land. They fly very quickly and are scared stiff of humans. So our drawing today is going to be a Fliberty Whippet. Let's start off with a, looks like a sort of round, but squared off head like that. And it's gonna taper down into kind of a cone shape. Actually it looks very much like a cone. Now about a third of the way up, we're going to block it off for the face. And inside that face, we're gonna kind of do a concentric oval, which means we're going to follow the shape of the oval head and do another one of similar shape inside. What Elise Gravel does is she makes round eyes. And of course, you can be creative and change it up. The nostrils are also two dots close together. And the mouth is simply a line and you can choose what kind of expression your Fliberty Whippet has. At the bottom here, we can actually add a couple of flippers, kind of make it have fins so it can swim through the sea. And then it just has little arms. And in this case, it only has three little fingers. Do one up like this, so it's waving. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now how you decorate the body of your Fliberty Whippet is up to you. You can do some scales or lines, maybe do a pattern. Let's do some scales today. Or maybe a combination. Do three rows of scales, and then this Fliberty Whippet has a striped bottom. Oh, I forgot to write. Inspired by Lisa. I'll, I'll also add some links so that you can visit her site in both English and French. She's got all sorts of great stuff there. This is a uh, Fliberty Whip It. I'll also add a speech bubble you want. I always find that writing the text first and then doing the speech bubble around it is far easier. That way you know that the text is going to fit. So that is 
a quick introduction to Elise Gravel. Show you again, we'll have this book in the library. Maybe we'll do another drawing session with one of her ideas at a later time.